I have a 26 year old grandson, not 12, 26 year old grandson who can't wait to give up his perfectly good arm to a bionic arm. And he's serious. I talked to my daughter, she goes, yeah. There's a lot of young people thinking that way because they go, yay. I'll either be smarter or I'll be stronger or I'll whatever. So that concerns me <laughs> and, and have to be very delicate on how these subjects are brought forward to the young people. What's gonna happen if humanity becomes part biological and part computer chip? It won't be the same. Something's going to shift. Will the songs that we sing together, the songs of humanity, will those songs change? We don't know, but that's a great big gamble to consider. We can't do anything about the entire future of this earth going into millennial, um, millennial. <laughs> Going into the years and years and years and years ahead, we can't do, we can't be on the ground for that, but we're on it now. And I think, I believe that it's very important that we consider these things because the race of technology is quantum leaping by the hour. We, we're used to a world that kind of unfolds one step at a time, then we wait for the truck to arrive and all of that, but it's not like that anymore. What has happened an hour ago has quantum leaped in this last hour in, as far as technology is concerned because the whole world is working on it. We are here to make those decisions and I believe that we're at that crossover point that's so important for us all. I hope my grandson doesn't replace his arm or his head or whatever else is available as we go along, but I can do nothing but provide the model and the feeling and the perspective of how beautiful it is when humanity comes together and we sing our songs. So I'm happy to sing with you all and let's sing together and show the generations to come that we understand we created that technology with them, but we're here to sing a song with them as they move forward. So thank you.